Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has officially confirmed that Su-57 fifth generation stealth fighter will participate in a full-fledged flying display at Aero India 2025. After the recent crash in Gujarat, Indian Armed Forces have grounded their entire fleet of Dhruv Mark III helicopters. Border Guard Bangladesh objected on the fencing work near the Bengal border, but they were scared away by a group of Indian villagers who gathered in support of the Border Security Force. The DRDO chief has said that India has to increase its investment on research and development from current 5% to 15% if India wants to achieve all the goals, including a sixth-generation aero engine. Paro's Defence has received the industrial license for manufacturing FN Herstel Mark 46 Mod Series Light Machine Gun and Mark 48 Mod Series General Purpose Machine Guns in India with an annual capacity of 6,000 units each. French Navy officials are all set to demonstrate the French pump jet propulsion technology to Indian officials on the Safran nuclear attack submarine. Tatu Alex C has signed a strategic partnership agreement with National Aerospace Laboratories to develop unmanned aerial vehicles, urban air mobility, and electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The DRDO has awarded a 1,084 crore rupees contract to FCON's infrastructure for upgrade of missile test complex, and workshop equipment for advanced missile and combat systems workshop facility. The Indian Air Force Chief has said, that Hindustan Aeronautics has yet to deliver the first 40 Tejas Mark I fighter jets and this is the production capability of Hindustan Aeronautics. He also stressed that private players must be brought in to have some competition, and when multiple Indian aircraft manufacturers are available, only then Hindustan Aeronautics will be wary of losing their orders, otherwise things will not change. The Ministry of Defence is poised to integrate the Indian Air Force into the Indian Navy's TED-BF programme, and this decision aims to address the substantial funding and production requirements of the TED-BF project, which are comparable to those of the Air Force's AMCA programme. Both the TED-BF and AMCA programmes are set to share several critical components, and will utilise similar line replaceable units, and both will receive the indigenous 110 kN engine in the future which presents an opportunity for cost saving and technological harmonization, and also reducing the complexity and cost of maintenance. Brahmos Aerospace is in discussions with the Indian Army to develop a ground-based variant of the upcoming Brahmos NG cruise missile, that would feature a booster stage, and will be mounted on 8x8 heavy mobility vehicle, that could be a game-changer in high altitude and inaccessible areas where agility and lighter equipment are critical. The Indian Navy has shown interest in a torpedo-launched variant of the Brahmos NG for its conventional submarine fleet, while the Air Force will be the launch customer of the Brahmos NG Air launched variant. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.